So we have seen what the binomial theorem states. Let us now see some beautiful applications of it. You all must have heard of 1 plus 1 by n whole power n. When I apply binomial theorem on this, let us see what the terms are. 1 plus 1 by n whole to the n becomes n choose 0 1 power n into 1 by n whole power 0 plus n choose 1 1 power n minus 1 into 1 by n whole power 1 plus n choose 2 1 power n minus 2 into 1 by n whole square plus n choose 3 1 power n minus 3 into 1 by n whole cube and so on. When I expand this, I will get n choose 0 to be 1, 1 power n is again 1 into 1 plus n choose 1 is 1 plus again 1 to the n minus 1 becomes 1 into 1, n choose 1 becomes n into 1 into 1 by n plus n choose 2 can be written as n into n minus 1 by 2. I have written this by simplifying n choose 2 into 1 into 1 by n square plus n choose 3 can be written as n factorial by 3 factorial into n minus 3 factorial into 1 by n cube and so on. This becomes 1 plus 1 the n's get cancelled here plus I'll cancel 1n from the denominator and the numerator and what remains is n minus 2 by 2 into n and now simplifying the next term we get n into n minus 1 into n minus 2 by 3 factorial into 1 by n cube plus so on. Now this becomes 1 plus 1 plus let me take a n common from the numerator here and this becomes n into 1 minus 1 by n by 2 into n plus we have n here and a n cube here so after simplification what remains is n minus 1 into n minus 2 by n square into 3 factorial and so on now this one i'll write it as 0 factorial and this I'll write it as 1 by 1 factorial plus you'll understand why I'm writing like this plus I cancel these n's here and I get 1 minus 1 by n by 2 is same as 2 factorial and hence I'll write this as 2 factorial plus again as I did earlier I'll take out n's common in these two terms so I get n into 1 minus 1 by n into n into n 1 minus 2 by n. I hope this step was clear by n square into 3 factorial plus so on. Now I'll cancel these n's with n square and what remains is 0 factorial as we have seen earlier is 1. So it does not make a difference if I write 1 by 0 factorial plus 1 by 1 factorial plus 1 minus 2 by n by 2 factorial plus 1 minus 1 by n into 1 minus 2 by n by 3 factorial and so on. Now, what happens to these terms when n becomes sufficiently large? What I mean by sufficiently large is we have to choose n to be a very large number. In case it, n happens to be a very large number, then 1 by n or 2 by n or any small n, any small number by n becomes very close to 0. And hence, this term can be written as 1 by 0 factorial plus 1 by 1 factorial plus I am approximating this 2 by n to be a number very small, very close to 0 and hence this becomes 1 by 2 factorial. I am 
neglecting the terms which have denominator as n and hence in all the further terms what will i get it will become 1 by 3 factorial plus 1 by 4 factorial and so on so this becomes summation 1 by k factorial k from 0 to infinity now this is called the famous eulers number i'm sure you must have heard of e and this we have arrived at this by starting from expanding 1 plus 1 by and hold to the n by using binomial theorem so this was one application of binomial theorem now let us see the next one the derivative of x to the n involves binomial theorem now derivative is a concept from calculus and i'm talking of binomial theorem so how is it related the proof involves certain technicalities from calculus and i leave it to you guys to go and check it i'm not giving the proof of the derivative of x to the n here but let me state it the derivative of x to the n is n into x in x to the power n minus 1 and this involves the usage of binomial theorem let us move on to the next one we know that binomial theorem states that x plus y whole to the n is summation k from 0 to n n choose k into x par n minus k into y par k what happens when i plug in x and y as 1 so it becomes 1 plus 1 whole par n equals summation k from 0 to n and choose k so in place of x and y i'm writing it as 1 and hence this becomes 1 to the n minus k into 1 to the k now you must be wondering why i'm doing this because i'm just plugging in 1 for x and y but let me tell you this is 2 power n equals summation k from 0 to n n choose k so did you observe what happened we have as a summation only the binomial coefficients and the sum of all these binomial coefficients turns out to be 2 power n what does this actually mean if we have n objects each time we choose k objects from these n objects like i'm choosing 0 from n objects i'm choosing one object from n objects two objects from n objects and so on and i add up all this so what it becomes it results in 2 power n did you see the beautiful connection between binomial theorem and choosing objects from n objects and 2 power n so these were a few applications of binomial theorem next we'll move on to the generalization of binomial theorem and solve a lot of problems